Today I'll be doing an in-depth video tutorial on Benzinga Pro, which is a live newsfeed alert service and research tool for trading. I'll walk you guys through all the key features and show you how to customize all the different workspace to help with your own trading strategies. This was a highly requested topic after my penny stock reverse split strategy video. So if you think this Benzinga tutorial is going to help you out, please do remember to drop me a like and subscribe. So once you log into your Benzinga Pro dashboard, this is typically what you'll see. You'll see the key features on the left side here. You see news feed, details, calendar, watch list, movers, and signals. And of course, the Benzinga Pro Squawk Alert. And on the top, tabs here, you can see these are different workspaces I have customized using all the different combination of the key features for different research purposes. So you can see I have news, I have reverse split screeners, I have the small cap movers, pre-market gappers, and earnings monitor. And let's go in detail about each feature right now. So if you click on newsfeed on the left chair, that'll pull up the newsfeed module. Usually I use newsfeed alongside with details. That's basically my news tab on the top workspace. So newsfeed is where I do my fundamental research. So of course newsfeed, the simplest way to use it is by typing in the ticker. Let's say I want to see all the news associated with Disney stock. I just type in the ticker and I can see all the different alerts on Disney, um, the options call sweeps, put sweeps, and the upgrades, downgrades, as well as the fact that they had earnings a couple days ago. Over here you can customize the different sources that you want to see your news from. So as you can see here, you can have Benzinga signals, Benzinga wire, other partner size press releases, that's important, so I want that ticked on as well. So this is where sometimes I'll look up, let's say reverse split. If I'm looking for uh, penny stocks to trade, I'll look at reverse split as a keyword and that will show me all the tickers that had recent press releases or SEC filings with a keyword reverse split in the title. And I can even go even more specific if I want to. If I want to check out everything and just have SEC on and you can see I can narrow down my search that way. Or I can set my filters to be even more specific. I can go onto watch list and just have the search be categorized under the watch list I've set already. You can see I have three watch lists I've set already on the left tab here, watch list, and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But basically, this news feed tool allows you to be as general and as broad as you want to with your search, or as specific with different filters. And usually on the right side, along with the news feed, I have details. And let's say I'm doing research on the ticker WKHS on the left here, so that's my news feed. And on the right, I want to see the details. I can simply click the ticker, and that's where I can see all the fundamental and all the technical details on this ticker all together at once. So you can see on the details page, let me resize this right now, you can see all the key data, um, the sectors, the industry, the market cap, you can see the float of the stock, which is really important if you're trading small caps. You can also see the market cap. So you can see this is a small cap company with 160 million. You can also see other important key factors such as the balance sheet, the financials, the earnings. You can see they made $5,000 in revenue the last quarter. Very interesting. And some other key metrics are important are the institutional ownership. Of course, you can see this company has 25% I.O. Um, you can also see how much the insiders own, also the shares outstanding. And that's what's so powerful about Benzinga Pro, because you have all the latest news, lightning fast news feed, along with all the fundamental key metrics all together in one workspace. So I don't have to jump between Finviz, Yahoo Finance, and all the different websites to collect all the data. I have every, all the research tool I need in one place and just save so much time. This is extremely important when I'm doing my pre-market preparation every single morning, when I'm going through 10, 20 tickers at once, I want everything in one place. It just saves me so much time. And another thing that's very important if you're trading small caps is this SEC filings tab in the details. So this is where they have, of course, all the filings in one place, and you can literally just click the tab and read the filings. So I can look for the important forms such as the form for the 10Q um, and look for other forms such as S1 and S3. So this is a very convenient tool for me every single morning, pre-market. 
some other important tabs and details besides the news that we have already on the left side. We can also see the stocks calendar, which you can click to look at earnings, guidance, IPOs, and any secondary offerings. Some other cool ones are the chart. They this is they are using the chart from Trading View. So really cool daily charts you can take a look at here. Uh, you can customize different chart settings as well. Another really cool one is financials, which we saw earlier with the overview, the basic balance sheet. But you can go in depth here to see the balance sheet, the income statement, the cash flow for any of the companies that re you're researching for. So you can come in and see the balance sheet and look at their liabilities and their assets. And you can see whether this stock, this penny stock is a piece of sh or not. Okay, the next feature we're going to talk about is calendar, which you can click on the right side here. So calendar, you can, after you come in, you can click the range you want. Let's say I want to look at this month, November. So after you select the date, you can click this tab here and see the kind of events you want to see. So you can see you can look for conference calls, stocks with dividends, earnings, which is the one I use the most, earnings, uh, guidance. If you trade IPOs, you can look at that as well. Also key SEC filings and secondary offerings. Um, another important one is splits, whether it's a forward split or a reverse split. So let's look at earnings now because that's the one I use the most. And I'm going to select the day to this week and the past few days. So this is where you can see all the earnings that's coming up the next week. You can see the time frame whether they are announcing before market opens or after market closes and the tickers, the name, whether it's confirmed or not, and the estimate. And one of the most important tabs here is the estimated EPS and the estimated revenue. Because when you're trading earnings, you want to see how much those numbers are a surprise, which is where you'll see the surprise percentage here. So let me show you. So Disney here, you can see on November 7th, they announced their earnings. You can see the actual EPS and the estimated here, and you can see the amount of surprise. So it was a positive surprise over 12.6%. So that's a big beat for the Disney. And it's the same thing for STMP, stamps.com. They surprised, the actual number surprised by 55.56%, same thing as their revenue. And that's why both of these stocks gapped up overnight. And if we will look at earnings miss, such as WKHS we saw earlier, they had a huge surprise to the downside, a negative surprise of 70%, right? They were expected to make 60,000, but in reality, they made 4,000. So this is how I use the calendar tool to trade earnings. When I have all the estimates, as well as the key data release compared side by side to see the reaction. And in my earnings monitor workspace, you can see that I have my earnings calendar on one side and details on the right side. So this is how I kind of look at everything side by side. So the next feature we're not gonna look at is watch list. So I'm gonna click watch list on the side over here. And this is where you can see the three different watch lists. Drop down here, I have this reverse split watch list, the small cap watch list, and the usual suspects, which are the mid cap and large caps that I like to look at every single day. So what I find really useful with the watch list feature is that I can use all the stocks on my watches as a filter when I'm doing, let's say, news research or details research. So for example, let's say I'm doing SEC filings research in one of my workspace. So I can use all the stocks in the watch list as a key filter. And I'm just doing these keyword SEC filings research with the stocks in the watch list. So the next one we're gonna talk about is this movers feature right here, which I usually have two movers, one for a gap up and gap down, and the other one is also details on the side as well, which is basically this pre-market gap or screeners, as you can see right here. So on the top here, I usually have the pre-market losers. You can scan for either pre-market, regular, or after hours. I use this for pre-market and all the sectors, but you can customize that here. And for the bottom, I just have, no, this one I have the gainers, of course. And on the side here, you can customize the columns if you want to, oh, actually I don't use this, the columns and the filters, which I want the percentage change to be greater than 5% for the gainers. And for the loser, it's of course less or equal 
to negative 5%. And also other filters I have are the volume. I want the pre-market volume to be at least 5,000. And very simple and easy, this is my pre-market gap up and gap down scanner. And of course you can scan for the same thing during intraday or after hours as well. And as you can see, I have a separate one for the small cap movers. Okay, so the next module we're gonna talk about is the signals right here, which you can access when you click signals so the signals features is probably the one i use the least but i do have some trader friends who use it to for trading options activity the put sweeps and the call sweeps also the block trades so all these different options on the top are basically alert signals that tell you when more volume either on the buying or selling side is likely to come into a stock so of course you can see the price spikes when a lot of penny stocks like hgrx spike options activity the call and put sweeps the block trades is when you can see the big funds the big money putting their money in or out of the stock so either on the ask or the bid and hold resume is the option where you can see um, very volatile stocks such as uh, nxtc and ntst from last week and also the pre-market the opening gap the highs and the lows we can set it to alert you when the stock is breaking at 52 week high or session high and the lows is where you can be alerted when a stock is breaking beneath the 52 week low and other filters you can have add the watch list that we talked about as your filter and only be alerted when stocks on your watch list is being hit with a block trade or a volatility halt or and you can set your notifications to be alerted when those stocks make those moves so you have desktops uh, you can customize the sound different sound alerts so a lot of different options for different signals that you want to use and another really important feature of course is a benzinga pro squawk it's not market hour right now but usually this is where you have benzinga charlie which is the host announce out loud the breaking news so basically he will read the news headlines to you whether it's about certain um, tickers or president trump tweets or any low float momentum upside and downside and whether it's halted he'll ju just read he'll basically read the news to you. And this Benzinga Squawk is especially useful when I'm trading earnings because Charlie basically read the estimates and the amount of surprise and all the analyst reports to you as you're trading earnings. So by default, Benzinga Pro has some predetermined parameters for the workspaces that you might be interested in. So let's say if you like trading options alerts, they have that for you. Other stuff like breakouts, if you want to take a look at that, they already set all the settings for you and you can go in and change things up if you need. Also the earnings monitor, that's the one I have. Other things like banks, tech stocks, and this one, kitchen sink. If you want to learn to cook, you can do that. I should probably do that, I, I can't cook. So let me show you the reverse split screener I have. So this is basically a watch list block with newsfeed and details. So the watch list is where I save all the tickers I'm watching. Like we talked about some CEI, SLS, some other ones you can see here. And down here in the newsfeed, I have the sources set to press release, um, SEC, Benzinga wire signals, etc. And I have the keyword, usually I'll search for reverse split and also compliance. So those two keywords. I like searching when I'm looking for reverse splits. Also on the right side here is where I have the details page where I make note of the float, the market cap, um, and SEC filings research if I need to. And uh, very important on the watch list, you can set alert for this watch list. Or you can just set the uh, desktop alert so you can hear the different alert sounds whenever they have any PR. And some other ones you can customize are like, let's say you want to look for insider trading, you can have that here and you can look for specifically the SEC filings, the Form 4, the 10Q, the S1, and the S3. You can see that Benzinga Pro is a very powerful tool and give you access to all these different research tools like breaking news, news alerts, keyword search, SEC filings, options, activities, and block trade all in one place. This is truly a game changer and time saver for me and allows me to trade breaking news lightning fast. So I'm currently on the annual plan for the essentials, but I get it though, Benzinga Pro is, could be kind of expensive to beginner traders, but you can try Benzinga Pro for free, full feature, 
for 14 days with my link below. And I'll also leave 25% and 50% off coupon codes below if you do decide that this tool is going to help you out. Full disclosure, this is an affiliate link. But I'm only recommending this tool because I truly love it and I personally use it every single day and even after hours and on the weekends as well I'm preparing for my watch list. If you have any questions about Benzinga Pro or for day trading in general, feel free to ask me below. As always, if this video helped you out, please remember to drop me a like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I'm the Humble Trader and I'll see you guys next week.